is uh, Ibrahim Ibrahim. Uh, I'm the Egyptian Cultural Attaché, uh, Egyptian Embassy in Abuja. And this is the Egyptian Cultural Center in Ghana. Uh, the center has been established in Ghana in, uh, actually it has been established in Nigeria in 1962 in the ancient capital, Lagos, uh, and it has been moved to 1964 to Ghana uh, by a decree from the Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser. Uh, President Gamal Abdel Nasser came to Ghana and visited Ghana, and there is a hole in the governor house named Nasser, under his name. So you can tell from this brief history about the center that the Egyptian-Nigerian cultural relationship uh, are very deep back in history since 60. Maybe the center now uh, next year will uh, will be will have will be in the 55th anniversary. Inshallah, we're going to celebrate it. I hope to celebrate it together. Uh, from the name of the center, it is Egyptian Cultural Center in Ghana. Uh, it belongs to the Egyptian embassy and it has been gifted uh, from the Egyptian government to the Nigerian government. Uh, mainly it cares about uh, any cultural issues and Islamic civilization. It helps spreading the, 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 the Islamic civilization and Islamic culture and the Egyptian culture as well. Uh, regarding the activities of the center uh, since the, the date of building, uh, it cares mainly of teaching Arabic languages and to spread the Arabic languages, the language between Nigerians. Uh, we have, since that time, three Arabic courses uh, running yearly. And uh, we do have some uh, Quranic uh, courses as well. Uh, in the same time, we're giving a lot of, uh, a series of lectures and uh, talks about the culture, about any Islamic uh, an event like uh, Al Hijra at the beginning of the uh, Hijra years, Muharram, first of Muharram, and Laylatul Qadr, and we inviting Nigerian scholars, we inviting Egyptian scholars to talk. We are encouraging the collaboration in all kinds and fields of culture between Egypt and Nigeria. Uh, we have, for example, the previous years we had uh, a good collaborating conference between Egyptian and Nigerians in the International Day of Arabic Language in December. And inshallah we are going to have a, 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 another event as well in the same date. It is um, in December inshallah this year. We are going to have a big thing especially in the uh, International Arabic Day. So we will find a lot of objects representing the Pharaonic times, symbols and kings of ancient Egypt and the Babirus. This is the ancient paper. Egyptian used to produce this paper from a plant called papyrus. That was about uh, 5,000 years ago. Actually, the plant is, has a very long stem, and they used to cut the stems of the plant, and they put vertical lines of the plant, and they press it under pressure, and then when it dry, it's like this. It's a paper. So they can write on it. Like, and after writing, they make it as a roll and send it. And this is the so-called alphabet, Egyptian alphabet. And this is the language, of ancient Egyptian language. And they have three scripts. We have a religious papyrus. We have a kind of letters they used to send to their uh, families. So we know the social life of ancient Egypt. We know a lot, actually. Hieroglyphic and hieratic and demotic. It's really interesting. So you can you can know the names of the gods, the name of the kings, the name what happened during that time. Uh, this is a replica, the real one in Egypt, in the Egyptian Museum. So you can buy all of this from Khan al Khalili, from the bazaars in Egypt. These are representing the ancient Egyptian gods that they used to worship. That was before the Christianity, before even the Jew, before before all of this. You know, they told about five thousand years ago. Um, another thing is actually for collaboration between Egypt and Nigeria under the cultural phase. It is educational. Educational collaboration between the universities in Egypt and universities in uh, Nigeria. Uh, Egyptian government as well offer Nigeria about uh, 50 scholarships. Uh, 40 of them uh, donated by Al-Azhar. You know, Al-Azhar is one of the biggest, could be the biggest Islamic institution in the world. And it is the first uh, uh, university in the whole world. 
uh, Al Azhar uh, used to get 20 scholarship completely free. And uh, last May, Sheikh Al Azhar came here uh, visiting Nigeria and he doubled them to be 40 scholarship. In addition to the Ministry of uh, Higher Education, uh, they are providing 10 scholarships to Nigeria. So, uh, for sure, uh, that uh, including the international transportation uh, and all the fees of uh, education. In addition to this, the, there is a lot of uh, collaboration between the, some states of Nigeria and some Egyptian universities. For example, about more than 100, I think more than 200, 200 students from Kano, only Kano, they are studying in Egypt. I think could be a, all of them, they are, it is a scholarship from the state of Kano. They are doing nursery, they are doing ar uh, architecture, they are doing medicine in Egypt with a, a kind of collaboration with Egyptian universities. Actually, we are aiming to have more collaboration in that field. We are aiming to have trainings. For example, for the teachers in, 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 in Nigeria, for the university staff, for the, even for in, in the media uh, field, we have the, um, the Egyptian media village. It's a huge media village and it has an international training center. So we are aiming to have a lot of, a lot of collaboration and cooperation between the two governments in all fields under culture, especially uh, in the handicrafts between, the, between, between both population so in, 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 in all levels governmental levels in individual levels and um, especially in something actually maybe I missed that the medical services Egypt is famous with its media its, its medical services like the, the, the hospitals and international branches of hospital and uh, the, 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 the medical field um, so we can provide a lot of services in this regard facilitating the, the, the medical visas so uh, this is as well some one of the main things that the, the Egyptian Culture Center uh, need to tell need to tell the Nigerians about the other services we are providing and it always open the doors for anybody especially in the weekends we open during the weekend Saturday Sunday so we only close on Thursday Friday uh, just to get the people come especially in the weekends because everyone is busy during the, 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 the weekdays until sometimes till 5 p.m. so we decided to open during the, the weekend to, to, to get to offer the chance as much as we can to everybody to come and to ask we have our website we have our emails we have always uh, and telephone numbers for anyone to ask and uh, for any inquiry to answer and for any help to support yes. This is wood inlaid with uh, ivory and ivory. This is mainly for jewelry, used to uh, for the ladies to put the jewelry, like this one, and open this most precious jewelry. And here the, the jewelry is the daily used jewelry. And these are handmade, all of this handmade in Egypt. The various types of kappa, like this one, this one over there. This cover always handmade in Khan al-Khali. Uh, I would like to show you something over there, please, if you don't mind. This is for making wudu. Right. This is a basin and this wudu. We have similar here in plastic. Mm -hmm. They used to put water here. And to save water, someone is pouring water for the sheikh and for the people to make wudu in this one. Mm -hmm. And they can collect the water to be used in agriculture or anything. A second use. Because we don't have rains as in Nigeria, inshallah, we have plenty of rains. So this is all covered. Always in any house, you should have this before. For wudu. This is inside the house.
this is the main hall there is and there is a special department for the kids and we have the other fields can you see the, the adab and falsafa uh, and science as well and we maintain our books uh, monthly every month we send some books to because this some of books very very ancient books mm. so,